from a simple shot at the rim. And Markowski, that's the player to do it. Advancing it here into the front court, Shelly. The veteran guard, did they get a foul away from the ball? Looks like they did on KK Green. So foul called on KK Green. And now bonus free throws coming up for Nebraska. They have a look at KK Green. I mean, just grabbing her the entire possession and off the ball. Logan Nisley will be the free throw shooter for Nebraska. 80% on the season. She was such a pivotal part of their offense in the opening half. That's 14 points on the day. In her first NCAA tournament game. As cool as can be at the free throw line to tie it. And gives Nebraska the lead back on the second free throw. With 14.6 left on the fourth quarter clock. So now the Aggies, they want the best shot possible, but they don't need the three. Try and get the two, try to get to the free throw line, try to create off the bounce. That is number five. That is Koulibaly. She's going to do that. I think they're going to look to get her the ball. Lots of options there scoring as far as players that really have prowess attacking down here. But Koulibaly has just been unstoppable. At this moment, if you're Koulibaly, you're almost calling for it in that huddle. Yeah. I mean, you can tell. You can see it on her face. She's ready. This is her moment. She's playing with the utmost absolute confidence. By the way, Nebraska still has a foul to give, so keep an eye on if they opt to use that. AM with the timeout, able to advance the ball. And Fox has four fouls, but she's the player that does not want to get that foul. And she's guarding Kulabali right now. They go out to Rogers. I think I get it to her. Rogers with 10 seconds left. Down one to Parker with five seconds into the paint. No call. No call. And then it looked like Nebraska got the timeout. 2.6 left on the fourth quarter clock. It is a timeout called. Your judgment was there a foul. Have a little look at it here from this angle. Looks like Pete got tangled up, perhaps. Got tangled up. But no foul called. He went right into the hands there of Jazz Shelley. Yeah, Barker just going in off balance, but I don't think there was any contact to the extreme of a foul call. But I just think in that possession, you have that cool while you have to have the ball. Clock has been adjusted to 3.1. So 3.1 now on the game clock, up from the 2.6 you're screening or seeing right now on your screen. It'll be Nebraska ball. And you'd have to think a, a very, very quick foul. Yeah, very quick foul. First, maybe try and get a five, uh, five a violation, yep. but if not, you have the foul. So I'm just going to the line. Inbounding is Nisley, got it in to Jazz Shelley, and a foul with 1.7 left on the clock. Jazz Shelley is who they wanted to get the ball to because she's an 88% free throw shooter. And he throw the check in for the Huskers. Amy Williams told us earlier today when the conversation started with Jazz Shelley in the offseason about wanting to come back it was because there was unfinished business they wanted to get to this stage it couldn't be more fitting that it's jazz shelley at the free throw line here trying to ice it for nebraska they wanted to be back on this stage so much after not making it a year ago the clock. they're going to readjust the clock again here Did 
game clock will be adjusted to 2.2. So 2.2 instead of 1.7. Nebraska in search of their first NCAA tournament win since 2014. It's been a minute, a decade. It would be Amy Williams first as Nebraska head coach. And possibly on her birthday. Celebrating that today. Still 2.2 seconds left before they can celebrate a first round victory. And crucial free throws here. First one is down for Jazz Shelley. The round and off on the second. Very quick timeout from Joni Taylor. And still 1.4 to go. the chance to advance the ball. That's plenty of time to get a shot up. Plenty of time, as you mentioned, and advancing it with the timeout will put him in the front court. So on that note, what are you trying to draw up here? Potentially high or win it. And they're only down two as well, so they don't yeah. need the three. I'm trying to get a two. I'm trying to get it in there. Kulabali, the person to go to. They got Barker in there as well. Sixty-one fifty-nine. Nebraska up, but 1.4 to go, and Texas A&M will be able to advance this ball with the timeout calls. As the officials go to replay here once again to make sure the clock is correct. 1.4 would be enough to get a shot up, but could there be more? Time potentially added on here for Texas A&M, a team that trailed by 17 in this game, came back with one point, take a one point lead. In the final minute and a half, resilience personified for Joni Taylor's team that has had to overcome so many injury hurdles this season. Had to overcome the game clock will be adjusted to 1.7. So 1.7, add more time for a shot release. Sahara Jones will inbound. 1.7. It's Rodgers for the win. Off the mark. And Nebraska survives the comeback bid from Texas A&M. Big Red is back in the big dance. And they'll march on to the second round to meet Oregon State on Sunday. What a game that had absolutely everything tonight. Aggies put their all into it, just was not able to connect here on this shot with India Rogers, but this is March basketball. This was ex so exciting. Late night here in Corvallis, and we were just in for an absolute treat. Both matchups, but Nebraska coming out on top, so they're going to take on Oregon State in this next round. Can't help but feel your heart beat out of your chest when watching these games, the emotions of March. He embraces the disappointment on the opposite side. These players pour their hearts out to get to these moments. Hard fought from both sides all the way to the very final second. What a game. We're now joined by Logan Nisley of Nebraska. Well, Logan, first off, congrats on the win in your first NCAA tournament game. That was an incredible game all the way down to the final second. What was it like to be a part of the up and down waves of that game? Definitely. We knew that it was going to be a tough game. They were very good, aggressive team. And so being able to come out on top really shows our response. They made a big run in the second half. And so being able to show our grittiness and respond, and that's the thing we've talked about all year. So being able to do that as a group is really special. Logan, great game. We know you're not, we know you're a freshman, but you played, you looked like a vet, but we have to talk about your first NCAA tournament. Just tell us how you're feeling right now. I am so excited to be here. I just can't even explain it. I mean, 
This is every little girl's dream. I'm, I remember talking in my room with my parents saying, I want to be in the na national championship game. I want to be in the NCAA tournament. And so being able to do this and with this group of girls, I mean, we play for each other every single day, every practice, every game. We talk about it in the last huddle. We play for each other every game. And so being able to just be here, it gives me chills. And I'm just super excited and super excited to just keep dancing. Logan, what does it mean to get a, a, a win for Coach on her birthday, too? Oh, we <laughs> made sure to say happy birthday to her this morning, and it's just super special. Coach is one of the best coaches I've ever had in my life. I wouldn't want to play under anybody else, and so she's just super resilient. She fights with us. We're all a team of fighters, and so being able to get this one on her birthday is something I probably think she won't forget. Well, congrats, Logan. We'll watch you on Sunday. Thank you. See you then. On Sunday, it'll be Nebraska, Oregon State. What a matchup that'll be. Can't wait for it. This was a fun first night in Corvallis. The second game going right down to the final shot. What a night. Again, it'll be Nebraska and Oregon State. On Sunday, in the second round. For Asia Ellison, I'm Jason Ross Jr. Our producer, David Feldman, director, Jason Moon. I'm Dan and Drew here in Corvallis, Nebraska. Escapes to survive and advance with a 61-59 win. We're saying so long for now. We'll see you on Sunday.